More than 140 civilians are reported to have died in Syria after a new wave of airstrikes by Russia and Syrian government forces. The United Nations has called the situation extreme and is appealing for a ceasefire. Our Pav Soyan reports. A wave of airstrikes pounded an area just outside Damascus for a third day on Wednesday, defying the UN's call for a ceasefire. The government of President Bashar al-Assad, backed by Russian air power, has besieged eastern Ghouta as they look to crush extremist holdouts in the area. The airstrikes have reportedly killed at least 140 civilians since the government intensified its bombardment on Monday. Monitoring groups said warplanes bombed several areas on Wednesday, with buildings collapsing on residents. On the third day of the bombing campaign, at least 32 people, including 10 children, were killed. Tuesday was one of the deadliest days, with 80 people, including 21 children, killed. Approximately 400,000 people are trapped in eastern Ghouta, which has been under siege by pro-government forces since 2013. It escalated last May after Assad's forces conducted a large-scale offensive in the area. Human rights groups are also investigating reports of alleged chemical attacks on civilians in two Syrian towns. The French foreign minister said on Wednesday that all indications show that the Syrian regime is using chlorine gas at the moment. The U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, also released a statement condemning Damascus in the strongest terms. The United Nations says the scale of suffering in Syria has reached unprecedented levels, with access to aid blocked in three major centers. The U.N. is calling for an immediate ceasefire to enable the delivery of humanitarian aid and to evacuate their critically ill and injured. Park Soyan, Arirang News.